Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Jean. I have a Timu haul here. This Timu haul took seven days to get to me. Not too bad, a week. Then when I first started getting to Timu, it was like two weeks. So we're down to a week. All right, so let's shove it off to the side without dropping anything on the floor. All right, first thing we'll do is get them all out of here is napkins. So I thought I would try some of their napkins just to see what they're like. The quality and stuff like that. Um, you know, I use napkins on a few different projects. So we thought we'd give them a try so you guys can see what they're like. Let's get my camera set back up. So this one is a pack of 20. I'm just going to take one out. I can get one or two. Okay. So, quality's not too bad on this one. It's not too, too bad. And this was double-sided, which is kind of cool. So, you get two different... Um, in fact, you'll get four different ones, but two different designs. Which is nice for a certain projects because you know I've used these on cards, I've used these on ornaments, stuff like that. I will be having a project coming up with these ones so we can see how these work compared to some of the other napkins I buy from other places. So be on the lookout for that. But not too bad. 20 of them for $2.48. That one's not too, too bad. This one only has 10 of them in for $2.48. So, you're not the best prices, really. But, okay. And this one, I mean, I guess it's, it's a, there's a wrinkle there. So, you know, it, it's not smeary or, you know, paint is okay. For what you get. And in the video I do, I will give you pricing on all the other ones that I get. So we can kind of compare pricing and everything. $2.48 for 10 of those ones. And then this one, these blue ones. So this one I picked up because you could use, you know, there's all these different squares you can kind of use. So there's more than one picture on these. So these are typical basic napkins. And I believe they're all a two-ply. If I remember looking it up. Let me just pull one apart. Yeah, they're just a two-ply. Some napkins are three-ply. But otherwise, on this one too, the quality looks okay. Sometimes I've gotten some, even from Amazon, where the picture was kind of blurry and stuff because the paint job wasn't really good but this one let me fold it over so you don't see a shadow behind there but this one i think is i think is pretty clear pretty crisp and then this one was 20 for two dollars and 54 cents so it doesn't look too too bad and then we get this this one here i thought was really cute too I just picked up a few different ones just so we can see what the quality was. Okay, so this one again, you can have four different designs on it, which, you know, I've had napkins before where it's only had one and then the rest was all just plain color. This is nice because I can get four different cards out of here or four different projects or whatever. So I like to try to find cards like that. So it looks like that. Looks pretty darn pretty good again pretty crisp get a close-up of the tree Merry Christmas all napkins have like this bumpy effect to them not too bad and this one was do you get 24 pieces in this one for two dollars and ninety seven or three dollars and forty seven cents and so the last one I got was this one. I'm not sure how I feel about the colors on this one, but I guess I'm not really into the kind of the pea green color. I'm more of a, you know, traditionalist. I like my regular green and red. 
Again, this one has more than enough you could use for patterns or for projects. You've got the deer. Now this one, whew, that one has a odor to it. Woo wee. As soon as I took that one out of the wrapper. If you don't like that, I wouldn't get this one. Um, I sure wouldn't want to wipe my mouth if I'm eating dinner. Mm, no. Don't like the odor of this one at all. But this would be the... I'm not even sure if I like... Oh, I'm going to have to put this aside. It's a pretty strong odor, order, guys. So this one here was 20 pieces for $2.97. But it's going off to the side, or I'm going to get a headache by the time we're done with this this tutorial or this um, unboxing here okay next i found these are a little bit bigger earring backs and what i like to use these for besides of course earring backs is i'll show you let me get one or two out so they are a little bit you can see how much bigger they are and then what i like to use them for because the ones that sometimes I do use are so tiny. So like if I'm giving these as a gift, I like to put something at the end of my pokey tool. And these ones are a little bit bigger and hopefully they won't lose as easily. Where I don't have one out here, but you know, the other earring backs are kind of smaller. So this one, and it's kind of easy to grasp because it's got this extra piece on and everything. That's what I use these for, is for my pokey tools. If I sell them or give them away or whatever. I like to cap them. Okay. So these were, you get 50 of them in here. You could also get these in black. So they came in the clear or the black. And they were only 89 cents for a pack of 50. So that was a really good price. Okay. Trying to stay in order of my little notes here. You know, I write everything down in little notes. Okay, so I found these these harpies I've never seen before, and they're really, really cute. Look at these. They're like little chunky beads. And the hole is up from top to bottom, which you know is what I prefer. Let me grab one of my pokey tools that have a longer end on it. Isn't that cute? That'll be good for that. I'll put one on my pen, too that up there so I don't lose it they'll work perfect for my pens uh, I mean obviously I'd put a round butt one down there first before I put this down there but they fit good on your pens and they did have these in other, other colors so they're basically um two different colors the little heart is one color and then uh, the outside heart is a different color so I've got the pink and blue which what a surprise right guys 10 of them for $1.98 I will be going back for more they have an iridescence to them so I will, I'm, I, I do like those. I'm going to go back for more of those. Let's see. Ruler. How big about these are. Okay, from side to side, they're about a half an inch. Just a tad over a half an inch. Woo, they're slippery little guys. <laughs> so if I hold them on in about a, just under a half an inch that way. So I really like these. I am going to go get some more of these. All right. I'm going to put them back in. Otherwise, I'm going to have stuff all over. Because this is a so-so big order here. Okay. So what do we got next? These pearl ones. I really like these. I think I've gotten smaller ones in the past. I know I've got like an oval-shaped one in the past. I'm not sure if I got the big round ones like this. But you know why I like these? Is because they already have a bale on top. Oh, hello, where's the camera, Jean? You, you're not new to this. And so they have a bale on top. Plus, they also have the rhinestones along the top there. I see that up there. This is the sort of pack. You can also get this, I believe, each color separate if you wanted to. So I've got the, the hot pinks and the greens and light pink. So the light pink and the hot pink. And then a couple of different greens and the uh, blues. We got a couple of different color blues. So really pretty. So these are, you get 16 of them for um, 80, oh, 89 cents. So for only 89 cents, that's a really good price. So like those. Okay, so I got a couple household items. So I got... 
I already tested these out so I can tell you guys how I like them. I got a couple sink stoppers and what I wanted these for was more for my downstairs and laundry room one because that's where I give the dogs, I have beagles, that's where I give them a bath. For these, what you do is you'd push in to let the water out. What I did not like about this one, I'm not going to use this one for the dogs, is it's really too big here. Too much dog hair will get through there. I'd have to put a strainer or something through first. It worked really well as a, as a stopper though. And then to close it, you just push it back down. So it worked really well as a stopper, but like I said, the, it's a little too big for their, their fur would get through. And this was $1.28 and you could get other colors in it, but it's not bad. And then the other one I got was this one. Now this one too, um, you know, the holes worked out. I would like the holes a little bit smaller. Most of their hair did not get through. They're beagles, so they have kind of wiry hair. But some did get through, I noticed. And um, But otherwise, this one worked worked okay, too. A lot of the hair just did kind of collect right on top. And uh, it's got the little suction cups there. And so you just suction cup that down. That one was $1.38. And this blue one was $1.28. You can give those a try. I really did like this one. And I, like this one was for a standard. It's uh, about a one. About one and a quarter opening. Okay. Next. I go. I got some more. I always try some of these different ones. I like. They call these ones car towels. Um, I like the different microfiber towels for different things. These ones aren't as soft. These would be more for like a, you know, scrubbing. These are these aren't as soft as like here's my microfiber ones I bought. I really like these. I use these in my craft room. They're right there. These will probably be, you know, more for a rag. Well, this will make an okay dishcloth too, because it's not too too thick. I don't like real thick dishcloths. So this one might might be okay for that. And I just took the five pack, the five piece pack, and they were. $1.97 and they say they're 9.84 inches so under 10 inches so let's see about nine and a half inch square so and I believe I think there was other colors maybe not other colors just different quantities you could get so I'll give them a try see how they work and um you know if I have any problems with them I'll let you guys know like I always try to do these ones I really really like um, these ones actually got softer as you washed them. So these, these are really nice. I use them, you know, sometimes I end up throwing them away because I mean, they were really cheap, but I put ink on them, glue on them, everything else. So, uh, they might not wash out too well. So then I just, I don't feel so bad throwing it away. Okay. I thought I would try one of these. I've been seeing these. So it's a gift wrap cutter. So uh, I brought a roll of wrapping paper out here. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, let this sit that down. I know. Alright. So what you do is you put it on your you put it on your you gotta get it on the right way. There we go. So what you do is you put it on here. There we go. I gotta get it in in there the opening okay and then you're supposed to just be it up slice it down correct me if i'm wrong but then you slice it down okay maybe it's not as easy as i thought let's go from this side okay okay so then you're supposed to whoops hello then you're supposed to just slice it down there we go just have to get it started well, I wouldn't say it's the nicest cutter. Maybe I just need practice. So that started out not the best, but then it got smoother. So maybe I just need some practice on it. This is a, this is a foil paper too. Let me try a different paper. That is a foil paper. I know, does anyone want to see the wrapping paper yet? Does anyone even start their shopping yet? So... You're just going to have to kind of hold it. Trying to, trying to balance this on my table. 
like it, just the one piece. You see, it's hard to start. I had high hope, there we go. You gotta kinda go on an angle, that's what you have to do. You gotta kinda go on an angle. That, um, I think it's just gonna be a like learning curve, guys, after I play with it a few times. But just so you know, it might take a little pr practice doing it. But it was $1.78, you can get other colors. I thought I'd give it a try. You know, maybe I need just more practice. I mean, it worked better when I, you know, started it after I got started. We'll keep working on that and we'll keep practicing with that. Okay, these I had to pick up. My favorite things to decorate with at Christmas time is gingerbreads and like peppermints. So we can take, you get the gold twine with it, the string. Let's get that off to the side. And then what you get, these are... These are rubbery. So you get a girl and a boy, and you get six of each. Isn't it cute? I mean, the detail is really nice. The paint job is really nice. $3.97 for 12 of them with this string for hanging, if you want to hang them. They're flat enough so that if you did want to put them down on a card or something like that, I think that would work fine. I could see putting this on an album cover. I think that would work fine too. You might you might need to use a hot glue or something because of the slick back, but I'd have to experiment on that. Um, I would put them on, I'm gonna put some on the tree. I might put some on gifts to give away, but I thought they were really, really cute. And they, like I said, the, the paint job, everything looks really, really nice. It's a textured cookie, really, really cute. So I like those. I thought we'd try some different um, Christmas decorations and stuff like that, too. Okay, next. Oh, okay. I had to try one of these. Little stuffed things. This is a stuffed snowman. They had three different styles. Okay, I got this one. This was only $1.74. And he would be so cute. I have to cut that little string off there. He would be so, it's got a little hanging one. I would set him on a branch inside my tree. He would be so cute. Just set him there, or you can set him on your um, display thing somewhere, you know, on your shelf. You can set him, he, it looks like he'll sit pretty good because he's got, he's got kind of a um, pretty stiff body. He's not gonna sit by himself, so you're gonna have to prop him against something. But I think he would be really, really cute um, tucked inside your tree. On a, on a branch, if you have like a, a big spot or a branch that kind of sticks out a little farther, I think he'd be really cute in there. So I thought I would try him to see how he was. He looks okay. $1.74. I can do a lot with him. You could even put him in the middle of a wreath. You know, when you do a wreath, you can put him, set him right in, in the middle of the wreath. He'd be really cute. So we'll see what I decide to come up with on him. But I thought we'd try it. Let's see. I got some charms. Charms, where are you? That's the butterfly ones that I just spilled out. I don't want, to, okay. So these are the right ones, yep. I got Tramp from Lady and the Tramp. And that's all they had left at, at when I ordered was just the Tramp ones. But that's okay, we'll start somewhere. The other ones might come back in stock. Isn't it cute? I love that movie. Who doesn't? I'm sure someone doesn't. Not everybody likes Disney movies and all the Disney movies. and So you get 10 of them for $2.69 for them. And he's gray. There's that little face. There's a cute. And he, from the top down, is about one and one eighth. And I'll go from his widest spot from here to there. Looks like about three quarters. And definitely he's real thin. So he's he's a charm. If you want to use him as a charm. I can see him making a Disney book. And then, and then hanging a bunch of Disney charms off the binder. That would be really cute. I should make a... I haven't made a Disney... Well, my daughter's 38. so But I haven't made a Disney for a long time. Okay. Paper. 
Got some more scrap of paper. I like your scrap of paper fine. And remember, it is it is more of a paper than a cardstock, but I like it okay. So this one's called Winter Holly. You get 24 pieces for $2.73. You know, save your cover piece too. I'll make sure I only got one piece there or two. Okay, I'll show you what that, that's the cover, which I think is about the, nope, little, the cover's thicker. You can definitely use this cover. Don't get rid of the cover. You can take out and, um, you know, kind of use this center piece as a tag or a label or something you can just use these little pieces like that on your in your journals and stuff so don't get rid of your that piece so i believe there's two of each design you know six by six and now you can see it's more of a paper little i'd say thicker than like a, a copy paper but it's definitely not cardstock so don't cardstock and it is because it's 160 gsm cardstock they call it cardstock i call it paper and uh so you get two of each design and i think there was 24 in here so 12 designs so now like you can cut some of this out in for in your journal you can cut like along here to make a side tuck you know you don't have to use the whole page it's cute and you got here you got bells with the uh, song song and lyrics in the background see that it's really cute here's another one with a song music page in the background i said they're, they're really nice the pictures are always really nice i i like them this one's just greens with snowflakes and some holly berries and stuff bring that down so you can kind of see the whole thing too and here again we got a night before Christmas. We're waiting for Santa to come down the chimney. Don't go down this chimney, Santa. You'll burn your little pansies. That's cute. You probably won't see many more projects with some of this Christmas paper I'm getting now because I've got a lot of my things planned out already. So, I've got a calendar down there. Looks like I don't know if it says 1833 or 53. You know, who can read that? Okay. Adorable Santa on the sleigh. So cute. I just got the mistletoes or hollies, whichever one you call them. This one, of course, beautiful. Bell up here, baby Jesus down here. <clears throat> and we have a plaid. Always seems to be a plaid in a Christmas pack. And it's kind of a uh, cream color background. This one's really cute because you can cut each one of these separate. So you can cut each one of these out and use them all separate. You can even you can even make tags out of these and write the two from on the back would be really cute. Poke a little hole in there. You can use that for that. There's many things you can use for cutting that out. And then the last one, the pine cones. So I really like that. Two dollars and seventy three cents. Okay. Then I thought I would try. These were like. It was listed as postcard paper, postcards, and they came pretty bent up, but I think they'll be okay because it, it was like really squashed in the in the pack. But it was really really cute. I think one of each, but you can see all my corners kind of got bent, and you can see how kind of wrinkly it is. Um, sometimes you can take an iron and kind of flatten out, but this would make a cute little junk journal. You can just, look at that. Wouldn't that be adorable? So you can fold it in half or you can cut them apart and use them for something else. This one, there was, there was eight in here for $2.48. I just learned how to talk. Look at the hedgehogs. Aren't they cute? I just couldn't resist it when I seen it. This is the only place I want to see mice. A cute little picture. Not running around my house. Thank you so much.
Same with the squirrels. You stay outside. We had a squirrel trapped in the garage one time. Like, what is that noise out in the garage? He was in the garage, thank goodness. He was up in the rafters. I could hear it in the house. Like something, like there was some noise. He was running around in the rafters. He somehow got in and we shut the garage door on him. And so as soon as we opened it, boom, he flew, he flew out pretty quickly. At least he managed to be out in the garage. We have, an, uh, our garage is attached to the house. So, this is just so cute. I may have to get another pack because I think I may make a little journal out of them. Would you guys like to see that? It would be so easy. You know, all you have to do is just really fold your pages over. They're kind of, and the back is white. You could leave it, but I might put like a, um off-white back on all of them. Just for the fact I think the white is too white for the journal. So I would probably do some print out some, um, you know, back back pages from some of my other digitals just like a cream color tan color whatever to go with that i think that would be really cute pick one that i like for the cover i mean it would go with this this collection too i think i mean the colors really match this collection i think you could use that too i love that one i may have to get another one what do you think guys should i get another one say yes just say yes okay two about 248 for that then i got i thought i would try some other um label stickers thought i would try some i need some more this year anyways and i don't feel like printing my own out you know you know sometimes you i'm a crafter i can do all that i can make all my in, own labels but no i don't feel like it you know i I'm, I'm really busy with the channel i just don't have time okay so i didn't know but they're all the same okay so you get uh gotta look at it look at it i got the wrong get to the next page find the labels <laughs> so you get 10 sheets and they're $1.98 but I didn't realize that all of them are saying but which is okay they're, they're going on presents anyways and they're cute labels $1.98 for 10 sheets is that is that a good deal you know sometimes I can get them for 50 cents on clearance at the end of the year but I could not find any I went a little late this last Christmas they're cute though they're actually pretty nice quality looks pretty good See, the quality looks pretty good on them. So, 10 of them for $1.98. Okay, next is this roll of stickers. Go off to the side, get the crinkle done, although it doesn't want to go. Okay. So, we have, this is, they call vintage stickers. I like to get stickers like this. I'm just going to take this one off for a second that came out. I like to get stickers like this to put on the back of the envelope when I send Christmas cards out. I'm trying to see where the repeat is. Okay, right there from Santa to here. So I'll start off Santa. Down to the Santa sideways here where my thumb will be. So it just repeats that far. Okay, but just 500 on here. So that will last me a few Christmases, right? And they look like they're really nice quality. Let's put this one sticker on that was stuck. We'll put that back. And then we can tape it back down. $1.98 for 500 of them. So I think that's pretty nice. Then I thought I would try... These are sticky note pads, but what I like to get these for is sometimes, you know, you need, well, like if I had young kids, they would make a cute stocking stuff or whatever. I won't take each one out of the pack because they're just sticky notes. But like, add it into somebody's gift or, you know, if you're making stuff for the senior center or you give stuff, this would make, be really cute to give this senior center for them to use for prizes, for games and stuff. Or you add like, um, you know, for, like if you're a teacher these would be really cute if you give out little gifts to the kids so there's that one this one there was six of them in for three dollars and 28 cents so they're really cute so i thought i would give them a try i'll open one at the end here they're all so th three of them three of them are is it three yep three and three so three of them run three and a half 
by almost about two and a quarter they run and then the other ones are three and an eighth by three and one eighth and then you've got cute they're just really cute we'll open this last one to look at them i'll keep the wrapper case i use it as a gift or give it away or whatever and i feel like they got a pretty good sticky on them i feel like they're pretty good sticky Sometimes, you know, you get them and they don't stick very well, but that seems pretty good. I mean, good for, you know, but I thought those were really cute. $3.28 for the six pack of them. Okay, next. All right, now you know I've gotten ribbons similar to this before. The difference with this one is it's butterflies. Okay, we'll find the little thing here. So the ones I got before were round. So they're round with the, the flower in the center. These ones are butterflies and you can definitely cut these individually. You don't have to use, I, I wouldn't, I don't know that I would use it like this. I would cut out the butterfly and it's kind of like a double butterfly. You can see the, I mean, just, just pretty. Let me put it on the black and see if you can. It's just, it's so pretty. And will look really pretty in your journals. Beautiful. And you only got, this one you didn't get much. 130 yard for $1.97. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine butterflies for $1.97. So I got that. And then I got some of this. I haven't seen this before yet. And there was different colors of this one. I took the pink and blue with gold. They all had the gold in it. Okay, let's get up close first and then I'll put it on the black plate because it might be a little easier to see. And it's got, there's sequins in there. What else is in there? The sequins and the threading. So the blue is all like embroidery. So this one you got one yard for $1.29. So let's put it on the black plate so you can kind of see a little better. Very pretty. And I forgot to tell you how wide it was. It is about one and three quarters. So you get a yard of that for $1.29. And the butterflies were tip to tip about one or two and three eighths. So pretty good. I may go back because I kind of really like this. So I may go and you can like just cut out. You can even just cut that flower out and use the flower. You don't have to use the whole thing. Okay, I've got that. Get you off to my side. What's next? Okay, so this was another ribbon. And I can't remember if this one... I think this was only in the white and here again we have the hearts and you can cut each heart out separate that's what i like because you know i can use it for lots of things then and it's got a pearl in the center and this one you got i believe a yardy a yard on that one also so you get quite a bit for that so let's put one on the plate here so you can see just how pretty that is Very nice. Let me measure one for you again. Okay, very nice. It's like a bow in the middle of the butter or the of the heart. I'm still stuck on butterflies. About two inches by about one and seven eighths. So they're nice. And I think white was the only color they had. Put that there one yard of that for 219. then i got these little starfish they're, they're listed as nail art of course but you know i don't use it for that very very tiny 
You can glue onto your projects. I'm going to flip them over so you guys can see them a little better. They've got some glitter on them. And like I said, they're just nail art. Let's see if I can balance it on there. I don't have the best nails, so don't judge. You know, who has time to deal with nails? Um, 10 of them for $1.77. I'm not sure about that price. I've gotten better in the past, so I'm not really sure about that. Put them in here, I'll lose those for sure. They'll go flying. Okay. <clears throat> then I found this pack of Christmas beads, and you know me and my beads. These are 16 millimeter. There's 50 in here for $2.69. You got your red. I'll take one of each out. I need to dump them all out, I guess. I think that's all of them. So there's the mix that you get. They're really cute. This one has the red and the green in it. So 16 mil, of course, perfect for your... Did work perfect on your pokey tools and the pens which here it is it got buried a little bit on your pens see how many i can get on there that would be one too many i have to put a small i think i can still cap that nope not quite enough so i'd have to put a different i'd usually put a center bead in anyways i always put a focal bead in but so that's those I like those. And what do I got next? Get this over here somewhere. Butter. This is where I dumped out before, but I got them all back in. So you get a pack of mixed butterflies. They're by weight. So you got you get 50 grams of them for $2.69. Let's see if we can pick some out. We'll just pick a few out here. So you get different ones like... I'm gonna pick a few out here. So they're mostly silver, gold, and a brass. And I see a copper one here. Okay. This looks like. So here's a few different ones. Let me see if I can flip some of these, and they won't all fit in my hand. And they are all charms. Let's try to flip a few so we can see. All different kinds. I don't even think I see two of a kind. I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't think I see a double at all in here. Okay. So that's not a bad price. You get quite a bit of them there. So that was two dollars and sixty nine cents for fifty grams, and they're about they say one point five average is one point five centimeters, which makes let's see what's our biggest one is probably this one looks like it's going to be our biggest. I don't know why it says one point five centimeters as their average. This is a little over one inch for the biggest. And the smallest looks like this little guy, which he is probably close to 1.5. And he's just under a half inch. Beautiful. So put those over there. And our last thing, guys, is I got some snowflake confetti. I like to use this snowflakes for, I get different snowflakes like this for gluing down on projects. Open this and take a few out. They're actually not, they're actually almost like a, a fabric kind of material. They're not like your typical sequin material. They're more of a, like a fabric material. Well, if you could tell what I'm talking about, it's hard to describe what it is. It didn't say on the site what it was made of. You get 300 in this little baggie though. For $1.99 and they all are the same. Yep, they're all all the same. So they got a really pretty 
blue which you know you can tell like see the color kind of iridescence in that i don't know if you can see that on the camera it's hard to see that one but one way i turn it almost looks like green and then it turn, looks like a blue so i don't know if you can see that on camera very well doing that that one 300 pieces for $1.99 that is my tea moo haul guys I hope you found something in there you might like and you might want to give a try. And like I said, seven days or yeah, seven days for this one. So it was pretty quick. And yes, there's a couple things in here I'm not sure about. Everything came pretty good this time, except for the, my paper. The corners are a little bent and everything, but not bad. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. If you can leave me a comment, let me know what you liked and what you might try yourself. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.